Cody. How are you today? <laughs> so we're getting it ready to um, work our cocktails for Friday. And um, some ingredients we um, tend to use a lot. And vodka is one of them, right? Yeah. So uh, when I make uh, cocktails, I really like a good vodka. And we've used some different brands and everything. But we discovered Rain Cane just recently. And I poured you some. And Rain Cane is probably one of the best vodkas we've had. Yeah, it's been up there because you can... No. <laughs> and you're not going to get any burn up your nose. Yeah. It's... And it's not low proof or anything. It's 40% alcohol. Yeah. It's an 80 proof common vodka um, from uh, Alaska. Actually, it's not from Alaska. It's from California. But they use Alaskan glacier water. Um, it is... The, so the... there's caveman pee in this okay <laughs> mammoth mammoth um i really a... get the giant sloth and mammoth in this <laughs> nobody's gonna buy it now um, why wouldn't you That's i, I just think cool. that this is what vodka should be it is um non-aroma so it's not gonna odorless uh, colorless odorless tasteless. colors it actually tastes really good to me it's got a yeah, but it's, not. it's a slight sweetness to it. Very, um, very slight. But it's not overwhelming. And I think this is what most bartenders look for in creating common um, cocktails. Now, yeah. if you're going to do a cocktail that requires a specific flavor profile that that vodka is going to intense or put into, like a flavored vodka, then that's yeah. different. But, but if you're wanting to make, say, a, a drink that also is alcoholic, but you don't want the alcohol to change the color, or... The, change the flavor with right. something weird and bitter, you use vodka because it's supposed to be that. It's bitter. supposed to be. And we've had people argue with us that no, vodka is supposed to taste like something. No, it's supposed to be odorless and tasteless. Well, yeah. And nothing's ever tasteless. Right. But. So, um, we yeah. like Rain Cane. Um, and you can get this in the store for about $34 uh, a bottle, depending on your store. You can also get it online through Rain Cane for $34. But what I really like about Rain Cane is that you can order it online, and the more bottles you buy, the cheaper it is. And you can get on a subscription. So maybe you want to get a bottle every week or every month or every six weeks or whatever. And the more you um, put on your order, the less each cost. So if you get more than one bottle, so you get two bottles, then it's down to $31. Um, and they ship just about everywhere. Now, obviously, there's local laws um, that they have no control of. But if you're yeah. able to get uh, whiskey, or sorry, if you're able to get alcohol um, shipped to your house, um, which is most states, even here in Texas, um, then you can... Um, order this online and if you do um, there'll be a link below and that helps us out because we have partnered with them and we will um, continue to use rain cane and a lot of our cocktails that require vodka that um, don't need a specific style of flavor to it um, but it's a great great uh, vodka I think it's probably my favorite right now there's always changes but um, now there's flavored ones I like too but this is my favorite plain vodka, and um, we'll continue to use it. So check it out and let us know what you think, but make sure you hit that link for your ability to get a discount through us on Rain Cane. All right. Have a great day, and we're going to start making cocktails. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It is Monday. It is Oddity Day. And I'm really happy to do this one because I have been following along with um, events that are happening in the world for the past year in great detail because I feel like uh, a great um, injustice and a great um, travesty is occurring. And so this is kind of in connection to that. And I don't know what your politics are. I hardly ever talk about politics with anybody. Uh, my politics are right here in my chest. But um, I have very strong feelings about this um, uh, event that has been ongoing for the past year, and that's the invasion of Ukraine. So I am 100% for the Ukrainians. I feel like... Uh, the Russians have 
well, not the Russians, but the Russian government has completely um, overstepped their bounds. And so anything I can do to support Ukraine, I um, would be willing to do. So when I saw this vodka, uh, Nemirov vodka, it's 100% um, Ukrainian um, distilled and bottled, um, I wanted to pick it up and just show, you know, my support for Ukraine. Uh, I know this is actually not doing anything for them uh, other than, you know, I purchased a bottle that hopefully ends up in the Ukrainian hands, uh, the money, but I don't know. Uh, it's just my small way. So this is uh, Nemanov, uh, Nemirov, Nemirov, um, Honey pepper flavored vodka. It is 40% or 80 proof, distilled in uh, Ukraine, and I believe the, the company is called Nemirov too. Yes, Nemirov. And it has definitely got a color to it for vodka, and that is because it is a honey flavor. Not getting much on the nose though, so it is a really good distilled vodka that is odorless. Um, so this is going to work well with uh, cocktails without changing the odor of the cocktail uh, dramatically. Flavor-wise, oh, much more honey, a little bit of peppery, back end pepper, um, not very alcohol uh, induced, so 40% is pretty light. But yeah, it's definitely got some nice honey notes to it and that pepper notes. And I think this is a wonderful vodka that would be used, a flavored vodka that could be used in some really unique um, cocktails. And I'm, I'm just right off hand thinking what a Long Island would taste like with this with a little bit of a honey uh, sweetness added to it. Huh, interesting. I really like this. Now, cost-wise, this was on a clearance when I bought it, um, but I would have bought it anyway. It runs just about $20, um, just under, between $18 and $20. I got this um, about 12 bucks, but I think it's a great cocktail and it represents a great country that is just trying to survive and do what all of us want to do, live free, live happy, and try to make our way in this world. And here is a bigger country who is envisioning lost history and lost, you know, ideology and is trying to recoup that um, kind of system. So I, I, I just feel very supportive of this country. Now you'll probably never see me get on here and do politics ever again, except for when it's the politics of alcohol and the politics of whiskey and the free trade and purchasing of that um, trade uh, and to make a, a, a tiered system here in Texas and the rest of America equal across all 50 states. Um, I, I just think it's inherently um, unsupportive of the consumer. But when it comes to other politics, I like I said, I hold those deep to my heart. But for Ukraine, I I just, I, my heart goes out to them to see on the news and read about what's going on in that country and to know that um, this is all really, I mean, there's lots of many things going on, but in my mind, it's all about uh, the Russian government trying to recreate or recoup their lost um, empire. That's that's it. Um, I don't know if I'll allow comments on this one just because I don't want to get into that politics and I don't want to, to be um, uh, a table for that politics. So more than likely, the comments won't be in there. Um, but I strongly urge you to 
find a way to um, express your support for um, people who are being um, downtrodden and people who are don't have their rights when um, they should enjoy the same rights as you know as I do as everybody else I, I just equal rights and equality is very important for me so um, I'll leave it at that but if you ever run across Nemanoff, let let me tell you right now that it's a really good vodka I like it um, whew, starting to get the yawns I haven't really talked this much in um, quite a few hours so whenever I start filming and talking I get the yawns but um, I will try to pick up their silver or um, white tequila or white vodka I don't know why I said vodka but white vodka and um, give you a review on that as well if there's any other uh, Ukrainian uh, liquors out there I'll be sure to look those up too because I want to support them uh, in some small way all right, so I would like to pose a toast to everybody in this world that is being um, stepped on by the big man. Know that my support is for you and for you to have the same equality, the same rights, the same potential, the same um, prosperity that I enjoy and that I seek. Cheers, everybody.